of Team Banshee Shams. Our project is called Agricultural Integration for Water Conservation and Food Production. Our project is a recirculating water system. We grew celery, scythe, and lettuce. Our project has four stages. Stage one, we deal with the extraction of the water from the fish tank using a submersible pump, which we modify using a used plastic crate with a piece of sponge and some fish nets. We maintain this by taking it out slowly, unplugging it from inside, taking it out slowly, bending it over without damaging it, or taking out the sponge and the fish net, washing it out of the holes, to put it back everything how it was, and putting it back into the tank and putting it back on the holes. Pump. Stage 2, the water comes up from the submersible pump into the primary filter which has used fish nets and on a PVC stand. This primary filter is a barrel with we cut PVC holes and take. One of the PVC is to control the overflow of the water. One is to drain out all the slush from when we're maintaining it. And one is to carry the water into the primary filter into the secondary filter by gravity. Maintain it, maintain the primary filter by lifting up the fish nets and rinsing out the barrel and draining out all the slush from it. The second part in stage two, it has recycled bottle caps, recycled onion bag, two level sponge. That is a chop the waste from the primary filter would come through to through the primary filter going to the secondary filter. We yeah, take out the we take out the caps and on the onion bag. You know, let it wash it out because it has been dirty, so we just wash it out and it by a gravity flow should have flow should have pipes that run into the plant. Stage three is when the water from the secondary filter flows through three quarter inch pipes and it flows through three inch pipes. It flows through where we have the plants placed in place in the pipe tubings, where we have uh, two airline running so the roots can get oxygen and the roots we push the roots down enough so it can get some water to absorb the nutrients running through the pipes. Then it flows through the pipe tube ends to meet this to meet stage four. Stage four involves the testing of the pH after the water flows through the pipes, it flows in the barrel and it tests the pH there and then it re-enters the tank via gravity and it helps add dissolved oxygen in the water. Alright guys, so how often you all come to Port of Spain? Well, I just go to Port of Spain to travel and go all over the place and um shopping and things. So what was your experience like coming to the TV station? All of us was nervous, you know, because the first time we were going on television, it was worldwide seeing us, so we were just nervous. But we still had us to show no fear. What was your community re reaction when they saw you on TV for the first time? They were like, they were excited for us to see us on television. They was like, hey, I see you on TV. I say, hey, look, I know this one, you know. They were excited to see us know somebody on TV. My aunt called me screaming and telling me she excited for me. Strange people, everybody from all over Trinidad. So, so when was I be able to taste all your hand, all this food, all this um, rearing and growing up here? You know? Prepare a gourmet dish for us. When, when we could look forward to that? Soon, man. Soon. Okay. Generally, going to get a gourmet plate of food from lunch. It's like a nice school. They're going to get lettuce. With lettuce on the side, a pilau, fish pilau. Plus you're going to get the, the fish season done nice and everything, you know, so you know, it will taste very nice. Let's come up on Blanchard's side. And everything's organic. Yeah. What gave you the idea of this project? We are all um, classmates of the CVQ Aquaculture class. This is where we're rearing tilapia fishes, so. And Mr. Ramna taught us ways to conserve water and recycle. So it was like, when we heard about the project, it's a better way and we could actually improve on what we're learning and work. How much water have you conserved by implementing this project? We'll be able to conserve 2,800 gallons of water a week. Would you say that your project came within budget or yeah. not? How much money you spent on implementing the project so far? It's got over $4,000, so we're in budget because we never went over our price. Mm -hmm. um, that Wasa gave us. Sir. In terms of when you initially started out the project, would you say there's a difference in the 
scope of the project now or it remain the same from when you originally planned? We didn't really think that the um, crops would actually grow so big and long so it's actually a different outcome of what we thought would have actually happened. So originally when you planned, you set out to do the project, what you originally had in mind? We thought they would just grow like normal, small, you know. So that's not normal? No, that's extra. That is, you wouldn't catch that in any market in town. <laughs> <laughs> How, in your opinion, has the experience here doing this project benefited you? Because we would have used like normal pellets, we didn't know it was tilapia pellets, we had to use for the fish. So you know, it can, the, um, all of us have a good relationship with, the, with each other now, so you know, it, it make a big difference in friends and you know, we can come closer to each other. Well, this process is called harvesting, we're taking out. This was the original fish tank we used to, for the project, but this morning we pump out some of the water into the other tanks, which we can't serve in it again. So instead of wasting it, we pump it in that tank to save it. Then we go and take it out because the slush in here, it starts to get real dirty, which we don't need it again no more. So we put, we put the system into this tank here, which we go do the same thing as this tank is going. We have a the fish because it gets big enough for the market, the fish market. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.